Hi, welcome to another chem video with Stapo. If you want to do some conversions in chemistry, remember these basic conversions first. To convert milligrams or milliliters to grams or liters, divide by a thousand. To go from grams up to kilograms or liters to kiloliters, divide by a thousand. If you want to go the other way, times by a thousand. Or if you want to go from kiloliters or kilograms to grams or liters, also times by a thousand. It's pretty easy, just remember these two basic rules. If you're going to go up to a bigger unit, like kilograms, uh, grams to kilograms, then you divide. If you're going to go down to a smaller unit, like litres to milliliters, then you multiply. So some chemistry specific conversions. Moles per litres can be converted to a number of different units. If you want to go to grams per litre, times by the molar mass. If you want to convert grams per litre into percentage weight per volume, divide by 10. If you want to convert it, into parts per million, which is milligrams per litre, times it by a thousand. And if you want to convert parts per million to parts per billion, then just times it by another thousand. All right, let's do some conversions. And for this, we're going to use ammonium nitrate with a molar mass of 80.052 grams per mole. So the first one we're going to do is convert 0.004 moles per litre to parts per million. So we're going to take the moles per litre. So we convert that firstly to grams per litre and then you want to convert that into your parts per million. So take your value, multiply it by your molar mass, multiply it by um, 1000, and that will give you your answer. 32.02 parts per million. Now let's say you want to convert 8,500 parts per million to percentage weight per volume. So you need to take your parts per million, convert that firstly into grams per litre, and then convert that again in your percentage weight per volume. So take your value, divide it by 1,000, divide it by 10, and that will give you your percentage weight per volume of 0.85. So there are some more complex units in chemistry. Millimoles is just 10 to the negative three moles. It's the same as having milliliters. So you can just use that as a normal conversion. Another one you might come across is micrograms. Micrograms, if you want to convert this, is just 10 to the negative six grams. Okay, so if you see the word micro or that little um, mu in front of something, divide it by a million. You might see a percentage V per V. Well, that's just milliliters per 100 milliliters. Or another one you might see is percentage weight per weight. All right, and that's just grams per 100 grams. Anytime you see that percentage sign, it just means per 100 of the unit. So let's do another example. Let's convert 200.4 microliters per milliliter to percentage volume per volume. Well, for this one, just start with your microliters per milliliter. You're gonna convert that into milliliters per milliliter. And then you can convert that again to your milliliters per 100 mils, which is your percentage volume per volume. So take your value, divide it by a thousand, then times it by a hundred, and you're gonna get your answer of 20.04 percentage V per V. A pro tip for you, work out your unit conversion first before you do any actual calculations. So I hope you've liked this. If you have, please leave a like, make sure you hit subscribe. And as always, if you've got any questions, just ask. Thanks guys.